This is a recap of the 2023 Boston Marathon as told by a charity bib runner. This is a video of me running it last year as I ran for Cops for Kids with Cancer, the same charity I did this year. Last year I was disappointed with my time of 421. In the off season I did a lot of interval training to try to build up speed to bring down the time. A calf injury I sustained in training led to some gear changes, namely the calf sleeves I wear and a new pair of shoes. I went from the Clifton 8s to the Clifton 9s. When I started running in uh, 2019, my first Boston, I actually had Clifton 3s, which were some of the stiffest shoes ever. Um, shows how long the gear has come in the few years that I've been running this. Anyways, the calf injury led to me cutting out hills in the lead up to the marathon. Because of this, I knew I had to push the pace early in the first 17 miles before the hills hit which I did, and I clocked a number of sub nine minute miles. I came through the first half marathon in 158, around five minutes faster than my half marathon split from last year. I knew this was the move to make where I had cut out all the hills from my training, given how hard the hills are from miles 17 to 21, capping things off with the infamous heartbreak hill at mile 21. My legs really took a beating up those hills, but I never stopped running and after a few miles of recovery I was able to pick up the pace again to make a surge towards the finish line. My legs had locked up in the miles previous with a couple of 11 minute miles, but I was able to seize the adrenaline rush and make a 738 for the last mile towards the finish line. I crossed the finish line and it sunk in that I had met my fundraising goal and I had met my personal goal of beating my time from the previous year. My toughest goal of breaking four hours avoided me again just as it has the last four editions of the race, but I'm confident that I can come back and get it next year.